Okay, YouTube anime lovers, Roka the Six Braves, episode 8. Let's go. Alright, first off, this beginning part had me like holding my head like this for real because it was the scene where we're where we, we see Han slicing out of leg throat open and possibly dying. So I was like, our main character is dead. This is some bullshit. I'm done watching this. Turns out it was an illusion. So we left off the um the last episode with Han's almost killing Adelette. He luckily gets out of that and ends up fighting. You know, they, they, they're still fighting. And then Adelette has the chance to, you know, to defeat Hans, to kill him. Like his sword can shoot out. Uh, he got so many tricks, it's crazy. But he shoots his sword out at him, but misses on purpose. So basically Hans see that. And he was like, why did you miss on purpose? You know, Adelette said, you're my comrade. Um, I'm not the seventh. Adelette makes a huge gamble. He says, if Hans believes him, he's not the seventh, then his name would be clear to his, you know, it's his view. But if Hans is the seventh, then he's dead. And that's when we see the um, illusion where Hans cut open Adelaide's throat. Because Hans is like, well, too bad, I'm the seventh. And like, it's over with because he attacks Adelaide. And. Adelette sees his neck get, you know, chopped open. He's like, oh my God, I'm dead. Turns out it was an illusion. He wakes up like, what the hell? And, you know, Hans, like, that's the ability he has just to see if, you know, if Adelette was telling the truth. Because if Adelette was the seventh, he would have been surprised that Hans didn't believe him or something. Something like that, I believe. So, fast forward. Um... They end up going back to the temple. They end up, like, still, like, in disbelief. Like, okay, if we're not, if Adelaide isn't the seventh, then how did the barrier activate? They end up meeting Shamat because Adelaide figured out something important and wanted to ask Shamat. Shamat gives two shits about um, Hans or Adelaide. He says, basically, I'm going to kill Adelaide. If the barrier doesn't, you know, if the barrier doesn't lift up, then he's going to go off and kill Flamey, then, then Hans, and continue going on until he finds the seventh. So, Shamat doesn't care. And sh they say Shamat is one of the powerfulest people of the group, so I'm excited to see her powers until I actually see her powers, and I'm like, that's nasty. So, Shamat powers is she has a swamp in her stomach, YouTube. A swamp in her stomach. That don't even sound attractive. But she says whatever she eats, she can manipulate it. I'm thinking, okay, how? And then she ends up, like, throwing up a big green glob. Like, it's a lot. Not just like a, you know, a regular person. So it's a lot. And I'm like... What the hell? And he turned a fiend. So, one, that tell me she eat fiends. Two, that tell me if she could eat a person, she could create a saint. So, it's crazy. She do have, probably have the strongest powers. So, with that said, we see Hans and Adelaide fighting throw-up monsters. That does not die because they just, you know, cut off a limb, it comes back. So, what is they going to do? How how can you stop Shama with a power like that? That's crazy. Um, That's just my thoughts, man. That's really the end of the episode. What do you guys think? How, what do you think going to happen in episode 9? We see they are surrounded by maybe like 8 fiends. What are they going to do? Is help going to come? I believe Nastanya is going to come and help them. That's the only thing I can, like, think of holding them off with her sword power. I don't know what more power is, but she probably wouldn't help it anyway. Oh, also, Mora is kind of like 
egging Flamey on to kill Adelette when she sees him. So, basically, I crossed Hans off my list and Flamey, like, of being the seventh, and put Mora and maybe Shamot on. More because she seems, she just seems despicable. Like, it's like she's trying to calm people. She's playing it smart, too smart. Um, Hans, I see already, he cleared his neck. Because if he was the seventh, he would have killed Adelaide. Um, Shamot. Possibility of being the seventh, I'm not sure right now. It's just... She wants to kill everybody. And maybe that's because she's not the seventh. She just want to fight the Demon King. But I don't know. I'm leaning towards Mora now. And Goldolf has been acting kind of strange. So there's more actually to this episode. Like we see Miss Tanya and Goldolf like interact. And she knows how he feels and know, can't deal with his jealousy. So that tells me something right there. Like, they are into it. Uh, so much going on it's in this show. It just makes me mind-boggling. I'm thinking, who could be the seventh? Is it a seventh? I really hope it is, because if it isn't, um, it, it's going to piss me off. Uh, um, Why do they think they can defeat the demon god so easily? Hence the word god. Nobody gets that kind of name for nothing. He has to be powerful. I mean, this has to be the dumbest generation of Braves yet. It takes six of them to defeat him. That's how the storyline go. You work together. Yes, it's seven of them now, but everybody's like, I will defeat the demon god on my own. Obviously, you're not strong enough if it's six Braves or five more Braves. I don't know. But those are just my thoughts and uh, review of the episode, YouTube. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the anime so far. Peace.